Hello buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I love this store. Okay, I, I'm guessing most of you saw my Bolo video about the bathrooms. Um, estate sale bathrooms, Bolos you can find in bathrooms. It's an awesome video. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Um, but this seller is a featured seller and she is kicking butt with the bathroom bolos. Wait until you see these, they're great. Um, margins are not like tremendous, but most of the items are like a buck and she's definitely making money. So you guys are gonna wanna watch this. As I was going through her solds, I'm like, this is gonna be such a fun video. So anyway, we're gonna get started here. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do that below. And if you like and comment, you get an entry in the drawing. And when I hit 1,500 subscribers, I am going to draw a name. So we're going to get started here. All right. The first one is this Jean Nate perfumed bath powder. And this sold for $36 with free shipping. And she picked this up at an estate sale for $1. The next item is... It's a perfume and it's vintage, I believe also, but you can see it's not all the way full. And this sold for $19.45 plus shipping and she got it at an estate sale for $1. So again, if you can turn a dollar into 20, to me, that's a bolo. These are things that she's just, I'm telling you, some great stuff. Stay tuned, but just amazing. This one, I don't have the information on. I'm guessing she probably got it in an estate sale, but I saw it um, after she sent me the list. And how funny is this? It's a vintage 80s full-size bar of soap. It is a three-pack, it looks like. But yeah, so somebody probably just loved this soap and just had to have it, and they paid her $19.80 plus shipping. So don't pass up that vintage soap. The next item is this 1992 Chic Personal, or Chic, Chic, I can't remember how to say that, Personal Touch Razor. Um, but you can see here, it says special offer $1.99. She got this at an estate sale for $1 and sold it for $19.92 plus shipping. And shipping is a little high on this one, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. But it comes with a coupon on the back that's probably expired. Next item is this vintage 1980s Fresh Start Concentrated Laundry Detergent 8-ounce bottle. Um, I can't tell if it's been used or not, but it looks to be pretty full. But this sold for $19.80 plus shipping, and she got this for a dollar at an estate sale. So I feel like this seller is going straight to the bathrooms and searching for, bro, I call them bolos. Um, 1980s Max Factor Rose Water Blush. It's liquid. Never seen anything like this. Liquid blush. Hmm. Um, One dollar. Estate sale. And sold it for 1980 with free shipping. The next item is this bath oil set of five. So here you go. It looks to be vintage, new and open box. This sold for $18 plus shipping. And she got this at a secondhand shop for $2.75. So not a huge bolo, but definitely something to be on the lookout for. Pampers. Okay, so this one, uh, it's new in the box from 1974. It's just a 12 count, guys, just a 12 count. And she told me that she found out about this bolo from being a member of my Facebook group. So if you're not a member of my Facebook group, I have a link down below. Definitely join us. It's a great way to learn about things you can buy low and sell high. Um, this one sold for $236.50, had 14 bids. With, I, I'm showing $12 shipping. It probably depends on your location. But yeah, that's a big one. She got this at an estate sale for $9. So that is definitely a big bolo. All right. 
This jock strap from the 70s came from a thrift store. She paid $3 for it. I'm guessing it's new old stock. But um, yeah, yuck. Uh, it sold for $15.50. It had three bids plus shipping. I'd have a hard time picking that one up, but it does look brand new. So at least it's new. Um, the next one is this Crab Cheat Tree and Evelyn body lotion open box from 1992. Um, this sold for $19.92 plus shipping. And she picked this up at a secondhand store. Now she did pay $5. It looks, yeah, $5 for this one. So, you know, if you can pick this up for a buck, that would be a better bolo. But she still made, I mean, double, triple her money. So this one I just liked. Um, okay, she just messaged me about the soap. And the soap was a dollar from an estate sale. Let me go back here find it. This one, this was an estate sale, $1. That's what I was kind of thinking. I didn't want to say that if I know for sure. Okay, where were we? Okay, so this toothbrush. Now this is not a huge bolo, but it just kind of made me laugh and I couldn't believe it sold for $9.73 plus shipping. Um, she got this at an estate sale for $1. So still a great profit. It's a toothbrush. It's a vintage toothbrush and it sold for almost $10. How cool is that? The next is this Arid Extra Dry Cream. I don't know what it is. Is it? Oh, it's a type of deodorant. Okay. Huh. Never seen anything like that. Um, some of these were just so fun and interesting, but she got these for $1 at an estate sale and it sold for 10. So turning a buck into 10 and if she's doing it quick and getting, selling a lot, then you know, that's a bolo in my eyes. And you can see it, it was $10 plus shipping and it had 11 bids. So somebody wanted it. Ivory Snow Powdered Laundry Detergent. This came from an estate sale for $1 and sold for $10.20 with two bids plus shipping. 1980s St. Ives um, Shampoo and Conditioner. Now this one, um, she learned about uh, selling used, not used, but um, vintage shampoos and conditioners from the Facebook group. And you can see here she puts prop and sometimes she puts movie props. So she's kind of selling to people that could be buying things for props because this is from the 80s. So if somebody's doing a movie and it's kind of in the setting of the 80s, then they may need something like this. Um, she did pay $5 for these at a secondhand store and they sold for $16.50 plus shipping with seven bids. The next item is this Body Shop Spirit of Moonflower. I think it's like a, it's a discontinued scent. So it's like a, let's see, a body lotion, bath and shower gel, bath crystals, and then it looks like a perfume. So this one came from... A secondhand store she paid seven dollars for it and it sold for 46 dollars plus shipping so that's a good one this one's funny too vintage lysol disinfectant spray six ounce can and again she put prop for a movie um this one came from an estate sale for a dollar and it sold for 1960 with free shipping so I feel like she's taking chances. She's kind of exploring different things and I think she's doing great and I love this video. Um, the next one is this personal touch razor, um, estate sale $1 and it sold for $49.75 plus shipping. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. So I don't know if like some people just love their old razors and they just want them and they'll pay up for them or if this is a booby prop. I have no idea. That's a lot of money for a razor. Okay, this one, new in box Oral-B, um, rechargeable toothbrush. This one she got at the supermarket. She did pay $12 for it. So um, I'm not sure if she had like a coupon or if it was just on sale, but $12, she sold it for $34.53 plus shipping. If you see these at a garage sale and they're cheap, definitely grab them. Make sure they're new. 
Okay, this is another one that she learned about in um, my Facebook group. It's a Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So if you go to Facebook and search Bolo Buddies, you'll find it. And then I also will link it below in the comments of the, or in the description of the video. So these are Dixie bathroom cups. And she got these for $5 at a secondhand store and they sold for $26, had eight bids plus shipping. Jean Nate soap. So here's what it looks like. So it's vintage soap. Estate sale, $1, sold it for $18. So that's great. Plus shipping. Okay, I, I'm not sure. This what this one's not really a bathroom item. Uh fireball vibrating electric flame amber round. It looks like a light bulb. Is that what it is? Okay, so that's a cool light bulb. And it's vintage. Um I mean, the packaging is just cool, but this came from, I'd be afraid I'd break it shipping it. Uh, that one was on consignment. So she, it was, she just got 50% split and it sold for 1970, um, with free shipping. Now this one again is not a huge bolo, but come on guys, vintage Ziploc storage bags. Would you even think? to put this on eBay. I would not. And she sold it for $9.22. I love it. Um, this one came from the state sale. She paid a dollar for it. So a dollar into $9.22, not huge, but I mean, it, it makes for a great video, right? I love it. Plus shipping. And that's awesome. The next one is this 1974 era laundry detergent. This one came from the state sale. It was $1 and it sold for $19.74 plus shipping. So it's only three fourths full also. It's not a full bottle. Like I said, I love this store. Okay, here's another one. I love it. Um, it's a vintage Sanford's king size marker. And I have no idea if this thing would still work or not um, being that it's as old as it is, but I love this. Um, this came from an estate sale, one dollar, and it sold for fifteen ten plus shipping. And the last item, I just listed a bunch of these, and I didn't think they were worth anything because they are just little cardboard puzzles. And I think I have mine listed um, in a lot, and some of them were like gremlins, and there were some cute ones. And I'm thinking now. Um, Maybe I should have sold them like she did because she got $9.50 for this. And I think I'm charging like, well, maybe a little more than that for all of them. So maybe I'll have to reconsider on that one. But yeah, she sold this puzzle for $9.50 plus shipping. All right, we're going to go into her store. This should be good. See other items. All right, so she's got some discontinued sheets of energy strip mint. Boost Energy Sheets, six, new in the box, hard to find. Right now they're sitting at 99 cents, so if anybody wants them, go get them. Um, I will post a link to her um, store down in the description of the video. Here's another vintage marker she's got for sale. I just like looking at her store. Um, this little Polly Pocket. Polly Pocket's good. I'm surprised she still has these, but they're new. They, she just listed them. So they might, they might go pretty quick. I think I might've auctioned those, but I don't know. Let me go in and look. I don't know um, if this is a vintage one. They look vintage. What does it say? Yeah, it says vintage. Well, 1993. Yeah, she might want to auction that. I'll have to ask her about that. Or maybe she got it cheap and she's just looking for a quick flip. Seems like a good deal. Uh, let's see. A yearbook she's got for sale. Polly Pocket, another one. Now this one she's auctioning. So maybe she looked that one up and it wasn't, you know, she felt comfortable doing the buy it now. But this one's a new one also. Man, she got a bunch of sheet. She hit the jackpot with the Polly Pocket stuff. Here's a degree deodorant, 90s, 1990s. I want to see more of that stuff. I know she's got more. 
audio cassettes. So yeah, she just picks up cool stuff. Containers, okay. Q-tips, vintage. Those look, yeah, 70s and 80s Q-tips. I love it. So maybe I'll get back with her in two or three months and see what else has sold. Because I have a feeling she's going to sell some more cool stuff. All right, guys, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to make you up look through her whole store with me, but I'm just, here's vintage pantyhose. I've done well with those. I'm going to link her store down below if you'd like to check out her other listings. And as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. Um, and if you like and comment, that helps boost me in the search. So I'd greatly appreciate that. Also, have an awesome night and thanks for watching.